Steve from Beacon Bicycle Company. You just did a talk for the Entrepreneurship Hatchery, and you're both uh, U of T grads, right? That's right. Can you tell me what the project is and what the product is? So, uh, Beacon Bike Lights uh, are a two LED bike light that uh, goes onto your handlebar or on the rear of the bike with a zip tie, which is a little bit of a novel thing. Uh, basically, we were you know, concerned that typical bike lights get stolen or they get lost, and uh, we wanted a way to keep them on the bike uh, in a very easy way, so we just added a slot for, uh, for a zip tie. And you did a uh, very sort of modern entrepreneurial approach to this. You did a uh, Kickstarter campaign, right? Tell me a bit about that. Yeah. Um, the Kickstarter campaign was great for us because it gave us a way to both market our product early on in the stages of development at the same time raising a little bit of money. Um, the money was put towards paying for the injection mold for the light. Um, a lot of our other startup costs we had covered, but the Kickstarter profits helped us accelerate production and get the product to market faster, which in the beginning of the spring and early summer was really important in the bike industry. We wanted to get things out um, before the summer hit and before bike shops did a lot of their other buying. And uh, a lot of the press that we've had and success that we've had in the media has been due to our exposure on Kickstarter. So I think it kind of has served a dual purpose of helping us raise money as well as uh, awareness and uh, kind of get some good marketing strategy off of uh, the get-go. So it literally was a Kickstarter for you, right? Sure. <laughs> so you're both uh, U of T grads, so tell me a bit about how your uh, U of T engineering experience and uh, leadership training or entrepreneurial thinking led to where you are now. Well, I, uh, I graduated in 08 after having done mechanical plus a PEY year. Uh, having gone and worked a bit, I uh, got a lot of des really good design experience. Uh, and then after graduation, uh, again, worked in an industry for the past two years and uh, have seen how uh, those good hard skills that you learn in university, those design skills, those um, kind of problem solving uh, really get applied into the real world and then uh, in just in the last year have been ready to take that step of uh, going from working for somebody else to going to uh, working for myself. So, And Taylor, tell me a bit about PEY and how important that was to you. Well, uh, PEY, uh, like I talked about a bit earlier, was uh, a great experience for me. I didn't uh, go into industry per se, I was actually working with a professor. Uh, and that was a great experience for me because I did, I sought it out and I, I found a really good uh, hard design experience and working in a large collaboration uh, really got to to see how um, a product gets developed or a, a you know a, in this case a major experiment gets developed all the different intricacies uh, come together uh, kind of a huge project management uh, uh, endeavor and uh, I think it's it really helped me in terms of when uh, Steve and I were sourcing parts um, just managing uh, all the different things that were going on at once and it was uh, it was very valuable.